Looks like this is my ride. Okay. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brett and I'm with In Gear. I'm at the 2023 North American International Detroit Auto Show and I'm here at the Camp Jeep booth. Jeep puts this on so that people can sit in the Jeep and actually do a ride along as it goes through an obstacle course. As I walk through here, one thing I'll kind of point out is there's a gladiator that's just getting ready to climb this obstacle as I tilt the camera back up and around. Anyways, what a thrill. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and continue through. So, uh, next up is a concept vehicle that I'd actually seen um, some press on that came out of, out of Moab. So, actually, Jeep took an older Cherokee, uh, mounted that Cherokee on, I believe it's a 4XE powertrain. And, uh, anyways, quite nice. I'll, I'll hold for a minute just to give the camera and you a chance to take a closer look at what's inside. That was a real campy theme. Uh, anyways, moving on. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up now to actually sit in, in a Jeep as it goes through the obstacle course. I'll tune back in. further along in the line to do a ride along in Cap Jeep. While I'm sitting here, there's a, a 2023 Wrangler Rubicon 4XE in the background. It's outfitted with the newer grille and uh, just, uh, just a good looking Jeep. Amongst other things, it has beadlock capable wheels and uh, all the trimmings. I just got to the mat for my camp jeep course. So I'm gonna try to slowly pan around as I'm standing in line here. There's the maneuverability obstacle. We have a Wrangler over there that's uh, on a particular obstacle. That would be the new rooftop tent that uh, Jim Morrison was speaking about. So they continue to kind of pan around. Actually, we'll catch that Wrangler just climb that obstacle. So, one thing I've noticed is they have uh, apparently a good team effort of uh, spotters who are helping to guide uh, the drivers through. So here's a spotter right here, helping to guide this driver through this part of the course. So it just gives you a little bit more insights into the efforts that Jeep has put, put forward to, uh, to bring this event to us. Looks like this is my ride. Okay. Thank you. Wow. This is great. Do you mind if I record? Not at all. Great, thank you so much. Let me get that seat built. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're just getting ready to start on the course. This is the maneuverability course. Yeah, welcome aboard. My name is Mark. I'm going to be taking you for a ride in the 392 Rubicon. Well done, Mark. All right. The crossing of obstacle called the crevasse. The crevasse. Sort of replicates some of the natural obstacles out in Moab, Utah. So we're essentially riding on the outside edge of the tires as we went over the V there. Yes. Awesome. So coming around here, we're going to do our breakover. This kind of illustrates the... Uh, the flex 
of both axles. Okay. So I'm going to stop right near the top. So I have the sway bar electrically disconnected. We have one axle tilted left, one axle tilted right, but you can see the body is There's fairly level. There's a sway bar down here. Okay. Okay, thank you. So we're going to come down off of this and we're going to hit our traction tower. The traction tower. It's a 40 degree incline. We'll be about 30 feet off of the floor when we get to the top. Okay. You can see here I have illuminated grid line so I can kind of help keep myself centered because as we go up I can't see anything but the ceiling. Right, right. Okay, great. So there'll probably be some wheel chirp. Uh -huh. We have 470 horsepower, 470 foot-pounds of torque on this 6.4 liter Hemi V8. Awesome. Okay, we're cleared to go, so here we go. Up to the top, and look out, you can see we're about 30 feet higher than everybody. And I can keep myself centered Six. again with these grid lines. That's awesome, okay. And now Great. we're gonna descend 40 degrees. And there'll be a little slippage. Might hear the wheels chirp a little bit. I'm giving it very little effort on the brake pedal. In fact, I could stop anywhere along here if I want. It'll hold. That's that's exhilarating. That's awesome. So here we come off of the tower, and we're going to go in the, our articulation obstacle. We get both wheels up on this left side. We'll be at a 30 degree angle. 30 degree angle. And it'll just drive itself right on around. Yeah, this is, uh, this 392 is just, you're just barely giving it any gas to power barely. through this. It's incredibly powerful. What this is the easiest of all the Jeeps to drive here. Of course, and, and, and it's not just the power, but it's the additional weight. It's just, it, it creates such a presence, so very well balanced. One area like this here, as we're coming down, it's a little rougher. You can tell this is a little bit heavier than some of the other ones you know, okay. because it has the large V8. But so, it, it's sprung accordingly and everything. It's a remarkably balanced vehicle. Okay. Now, what obstacle was that, sir? That was our clearance. Clearance, our okay. Clearance. This has about 11 and a half inches of ground clearance. Now, as you notice, as we were coming down, we bounced a lot, but we weren't close at all to hitting anything at the bottom of the Jeep. So we're going to climb here on our off camber. We articulate to the right, I'm watching my spotter and this yellow line. We come over the top, we level out, get back to the left, and I'm going to watch my guy down here. Man, you have that spotter on the ground, that's awesome. So we came down about 30 degrees, all four wheels were firmly planted. None of them lifted, we have about 20 degree additional articulation with the sway bar disconnected. Well, thank you for uh, sure. taking us for a ride. Really do appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Sure. Hello, and thanks for joining me. I'm Brett, and I'm with InGear. This is the 2023. Hello. I'm at the 2023 North American International Detroit Auto Show, and I'm here at the Camp Jeep booth. This is actually a Jim Connor course, and, and Jeep puts this event on so that people can actually do ride-alongs. It takes the people. Jeep puts this on so that Jeep puts this on so that people can sit in the Jeep and actually do a ride-along as it goes through an obstacle course. That obstacle course demonstrate Jeep's, Jeep's capabilities. And so I'm a little further along in the line here to uh, to ride a Jeep, ride do a ride-along in traverses many different terrains that a Jeep's normally going to go ahead and um, 